tell you a little something about perfumery. The reason perfumery relates to the herb oils, essential oils that are in herbs, are used in your very high-end uh, perfumes. An example would be Joy Perfume. Uh, it's one of the most expensive perfumes in the world. But where perfumery came from was years ago, and I've, I've told before about how people didn't take baths, they didn't wash their clothes, and so on and so forth. Well, it became quite a contest when you were trying to talk to somebody that was not very clean, and it had been that way for 10, 11 months. So you used to see the queen. You would see little pictures of, like, the queen walking with a, like an apple or an orange and she would have cloves in it and some cinnamon and some nutmeg on it and as she would walk she would have it in front of her and she talked to her class that she ruled her the, the peasants what she was really doing is because the smell of the peasants was so bad because they hadn't had baths and did not keep their clothes clean she would keep this under her nose and it was a source of perfumery so when she talked to the peasants she wasn't really smelling them she was actually smelling the nutmeg and the cinnamon and the, the juices that were coming out of the apple or the orange as it would waft up and that way it was easier for her to talk to more people they also used to have a little brace a little necklace they would wear and this necklace would actually be filled up with little pieces of potpourri. So when you'd see the queen or the knights talking to the people, a lot of times they would be pressing these things. What they were really doing is cracking the potpourri. So the essential oils came out and the flavor, the fragrance would waft up again. That's the history of perfumery. It's not like it's used today with us. It was used because it was essential back during the medieval times. There is a place where you can go Learn something new and always stop to say hello Walk through the trees, enjoy the scene Watch us grow